In this video, we are going to focus on finding the number of degrees and each angle of a regular polygon. So what is a regular polygon? So when you see the word regular on it, a regular polygon means a polygon is just a many sided shape. And a regular polygon means you're going to have all the sides and the angles are going to be equal on it. So here's a couple of pictures to kind of show that that uh, for a triangle, all the sides, all the angles are the same. So you have what's called an equilateral triangle. On a four-sided shape, a square is a regular polygon. All the sides, all the angles are the same. Uh, when you have a pentagon, um, all the sides and all the angles are the same of your five-sided shape. A hexagon is a six-sided shape, which there's lots of different ways to draw this, but if you throw the word regular on there, all the sides, all the angles are the same, and the same thing with the octagon. So what we're trying to figure out is what would each of these angles be? All right, and they would have to be a certain amount because it's regular, they're all gonna be the same. So what we need to do is we need to figure out what's the total degrees in the whole object, and then we can just divide it by five. Or you can figure out how many degrees you have in this object and then divide it by six, because you got six sides, six angles. Same thing here, figure out what the total number of degrees are and then divide it by eight. Now that seems kind of backwards, but that's exactly what we can do. So there is a formula for it, and we're going to come back to it, but we're going to show how this formula comes about. So uh, we're going to go through kind of a list here real quick that on an equilateral triangle, we have one, uh, three sides, which makes one triangle. And when the other ones, we'll talk about this triangle idea. And then the total number of degrees on a tr any triangle is 180. And then if you take 180 degrees and you divide it by three to make it all even, you are getting 60 degrees, okay? On a square, a square has four sides. All right, so here's the triangle idea. We take a corner, any corner, but just one, and we try to connect that corner uh, to any of the diagonals that we can create, okay? So there's only one, all right? But with that, that one diagonal, creates two triangles. And so if we have two triangles, we have 360 total degrees going on within these two triangles, which makes the four-sided shape have 360 degrees that we even out by dividing by four. So when you take 360 divided by four, that gets you 90 degrees, which makes sense because it's a square. So we're gonna do that with all the others and then show that there's some sort of a relationship going and that's where this formula comes about. So a regular pentagon is, we're gonna take one corner, doesn't matter which one, and we're gonna draw as many diagonals as we can, which is gonna be two on a pentagon. So we have five sides creating one, two, three triangles, and three triangles, if you add up all those angles and those individual triangles, that's gonna make um, three times 180, which is 540. And then if we break that up evenly, it's 540 total degrees, split five ways, which is gonna get you 108 degrees. So each of those angles, um, before I threw in the diagonals, would be 108 degrees, which seems right, because they're bigger than 90 degrees. Okay, so you're bigger than 90. So if you go to a hexagon, you have six sides, um, and we have one, two, three diagonals we can create or cut through the, the space, which makes four triangles. And if you have four triangles, four times 180 is 720. And so if we take our 720 degrees and split it six ways, that's gonna get us 120 degrees each. All right. So there is definitely a pattern going that your number of sides compared to the number of triangles is the pattern. Yeah, I get they're all going up by one, but if you just kind of were to look at one in particular, a pentagon, that the number of sides compared to the number of triangles, the number of triangles is always two less than the number of sides. See, it's always two less. So if you have an octagon, which is an eight-sided shape, without drawing it, we should be able to create six triangles. Six triangles, six times 180 makes 1080. And then if we take that 1080 and divide it by eight, that's going to get us 135 degrees per angle. So every one of those angles would be 135. 
So just to show the visual that we do get six triangles, if we take a corner, there's one, there's two, three, there's four, there's five, but it makes one, two, three, four, five, six triangles. Okay, so that's the relationship. And that's what this formula is about. That to figure out what the number of degrees per angle is exactly this math. There's a formula associated to it, there's a pattern. And that is that you're gonna find the number of sides minus two. The number of sides minus two really creates your number of triangles. And then we multiply it by 180 because that's what the number, that's how many degrees are in each triangle. So 180 times the number of triangles, which is number of sides minus two, which we just figured out there's a pattern. And then we divide it by the number of sides, which is exactly what we did. So we took the number of sides, we subtract it by two, which represents the number of triangles. Each triangle has 180 degrees. We multiply that to get here. So that would be the top. And then we took that value and divided by how many angles we had because the number of angles is gonna be equivalent to the number of sides. All right, so that is how we go about it. And it doesn't matter how many sides you have. If you have 20 sides, then you would take 20 and that would give you 18 triangles. You'd multiply that by uh, 180 should be a lot. So if you take 18, 18 times 180, you're going to get 3240. And then we would take our 3240 divided by the number of angles because the number of sides is the same as the number of angles. So if we divide that by 20, we get 162 degrees per angle. So the more sides you have, the bigger these angles have to be to, to be able to open up and connect a whole lot of sides to get it all the way around. All right. So that was um, how you figure out the number of degrees per angle in a regular polygon. But that was kind of walking through and, and kind of showing how this process of this formula comes about.